guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla and welcome to today's video. Today, we are gonna be talking about sneakers, sneakers, sneakers. Okay, first up, before I begin this video, let me just put it out there once and for all that I am not by any means a sneakerhead. I am just a girl who likes to purchase sneakers because they're comfortable, but I am by no means a technical person. So this video is gonna be a haul, and if you're looking for something technical or you wanna hear someone talk about like how these things are made, what they're made of, technicalities and everything, this is not that kind of video, okay? I am just gonna talk about these sneakers that I'm gonna talk about because I love them and why I purchased them, where I got them, basically anything that's related to my personal experience buying them and my personal opinion of them. So if you're looking for something that's like a very detailed review, this is not a review. Again, this is a haul video. Okay, so now it's out of the way. Let's start talking sneakers. We're gonna talk about the sneakers that I acquired in the past couple of months. I would say since I got back here from Malaysia about four or five months, give or take. The first one that we're gonna talk about is this pair. This is the Nike Cortez Women's in black and white. The reason I got this is because because when I came back, I just wanted to wear like basic sneakers with everything. I realized at that point that I actually didn't have any basic white pair sneakers from Nike. The ones that I had were Fila Disruptors, which were chunky and they weren't really the thing I was looking for at that time. And then I also had the Reeboks. I think they were the tennis ones, if I'm not mistaken. So before I got back here, I actually purchased a similar silhouette, which is the Nike Daybreaks in black. And that's what I've been wearing at the time. And I thought I wanted something similar, but in white. So Pierre and I went to the Nike outlet and that's where I got this pair. So I was actually choosing between three different pairs of sneakers at that time when I wanted to purchase a pair of white sneakers. So one was the Air Force ones, not the classic ones. I think the one that they had at the outlet at that time was something that had a little bit of neons on it. And then there was another pair that I was like looking at, but ultimately I decided to go for this one because these are a classic silhouette. And I do like that it's not too plain of a white pair. So it has like the black swoosh and the black detailing over there at the bottom. So when I got them, I just started wearing them nonstop and look at how filthy and dirty they are at the moment, but I love them. So I bought these for 559 MOP which was the sale price. I think I still got an extra 20% off because I purchased them at the outlet. So I think that's a really good price. It's a good steal. And I've been loving them ever since because they really go with so many different things in my closet. I wear them in dresses, shorts, pants, jeans. Yeah, they give that kind of like retro appeal to any outfit that I wear. So that's what I like about it. Next pair we're gonna talk about this pair. This is the Nike Times Off-White collaborative pair and it is the Waffle Racer Black and Pink. Okay, let me just bring it up. There we go. I'm gonna show you guys. I honestly, I would tell you guys, I wasn't really into this silhouette the very first time I saw it when they came out. I thought they looked kind of weird. I thought they were like football sneakers because of the spikes and everything. But um, the longer I looked at them, they actually grew on me and I decided that I actually liked them. So I don't think the hype on this was very huge. You can find them easily at retail stores, even online. And I did purchase them for a retail price, but I waited around for too long trying to decide whether I actually wanted them or not. But by the time I decided that I actually wanted to purchase them, the ones that I wanted, the white ones, were not available on retail prices anymore. So the only ones left were this one and the blue ones. But this isn't too bad actually, because this was actually the second option that I was eyeing anyway. So when the white ones sold out and I decided I still wanted them, so I got them in black and pink. I think this is also a very versatile color because it still goes with a lot of different outfits and stuff that I already had in my closet. So I still went ahead and purchased them for retail price. So I actually purchased them for 999 Hong Kong dollars. It's around 1,000 something MOP, but that was a retail price, so not too bad. And I didn't pay for any shipping costs. I ordered them from Nike Hong Kong, which actually ships to Macau free of charge. The time I purchased this, I was actually in Malaysia. I didn't really get my hands on them when I got here, when we got back here. That was the only time I actually was able to wear them, but I got them way before. I got back here. I'm a fan of off-whites to be honest. If I had the resources to actually purchase a lot of the off-white and Nike collaborations like I would but your girl has very limited funds, limited resources so whatever I can get my hands on any off-white Nike collaborations for a limited amount of money then I would. So I've worn them a couple of times already. I've been wearing them a lot last November. I wore them on my birthday. been wearing them with like dresses and shorts and everything. I think they're pretty versatile but just because I do have a couple of 
newer sneakers that I have on rotation at the moment. I haven't really given them much love recently. Maybe I could actually create a lookbook on how to style these. Let me know if you guys want to see that kind of uh, content here. So what I like about this pair is I think they look very unique. I don't think the silhouette is unique per se. In fact, they look very similar to the Black Day breaks that I have, except they has this like outer layer, like spikes and everything. And that's what I like about it. It's like this, this transparent sort of plastic thing around it. It just gives it a little bit of that edge, like the off-white touch. It looks kind of futuristic in that way. And I like the double laser, so it's just unique. The spikes are pretty soft, actually. They can't poke you. Actually, now that I look at it, I'm not sure if these things used to have spikes on them. I think I already managed to ruin the shoes. Some of the spikes are gone already. Hmm, that's weird. I might have actually damaged the shoes already. That will need to be cleaned up a little bit. Okay, so I got this in 24 and a half cm as well, a half size bigger. I guess for these kinds of silhouettes, I do go for a half size bigger, but yeah, that is that. Next, we're gonna talk about this pair. This is the Air Jordan 1 Court Purples, which if you see my most recent video, I actually did a lookbook on this one styling this pair. And this is my current favorite Air Jordan 1s actually purchased this at the resale market, but a very good reason to do so. Normally I wouldn't purchase sneakers at the resale market because I don't find that it is worth it. I don't see the value in purchasing something off the resale market, but for this particular pair, I couldn't help myself because this is purple. Obviously purple is my favorite color. Like my name says it, Carla Violet. My social media handle says it. I'm wearing a purple t-shirt at the moment or violet you call it. Pretty much anything shades of violet or purple, I'm into it. And last year, I know there are a lot of Jordan releases in different colorways that I kind of like made a pass on. I didn't get my hands on them. There was the shadows and then there was the light smoke gray. There was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It's always so difficult to get them for retail. And when these came out, I was really into it that I thought, okay, if I could get my hands on a pair of Jordan at the moment, and if I had to choose between all the different colorways that were out at that period of time, and if I was gonna purchase from the resale market, which one is gonna be really like the most worth it for me? And it came down to this one because this is ultimately my favorite color. So that's why I decided to purchase this and I actually didn't buy it myself. I was back in Malaysia when this came out in Macau and I had my brother help me go to one of the stores and actually purchase it for me and I had to pay him back later. So that's how I got this. Also, one of the reasons that maybe they decided to purchase this in the resale market in Macau is that the price that I paid for this or the price that they were selling this at that time was a lot less than what I would pay for if I purchased them online, like from the resale market online, like let's say StockX. So looking at the prices on StockX at the moment is currently selling for 4,900 Hong Kong dollars. I purchased these for, I think around 2,000 and 400 MOP or HKD if I'm not mistaken. Pretty much like half price lower than what they're selling for online at the moment. It's not too bad of a resale market price that I paid for these compared to what they're currently selling at for. So not bad at all. Anyways, if you guys want to see how I've been wearing these lately, you can have a look at the lookbook that I just uploaded recently. I'll link it up in the description down below and plug it up here as well. Moving on. We have another pair of Jordan and it's this pair right here. This is the Air Jordan 1 Mid GS in gym red, white, black colorway. So this is one of my most recent acquisitions. I bought this, I think last month. Purchased this for like a retail price. I think I paid around 800 something MOP. It doesn't say the price here, but pretty much more or less it's like that. So the reason I purchased this is because I've always wanted the red colorways of Air Jordan ones. I think they'll always be a classic colorway and it, let's be real, I'm not planning on getting them for resale at all. I just want to have the look and feel of it, not necessarily like the exact look like AJ1 highs. I know that's the one people are after, but I just want like to wear something in the same colorway, in the same silhouette and be done with it. When I saw these selling for retail at Nike, I decided to purchase. I think they're still pretty cool, not too bad. I mean, what do you guys think? You can let me know down in the comments below. So I got this in a size 23 and a half, a little smaller than what I would usually go for, but they fit well anyway. They do look a little smaller than the usual sneakers that I would wear, but they fit well. You just have to loosen up the shoelaces a little bit, but otherwise they're still okay. What I like about the AJ1 mids compared to the high ones is that they're easier to get your feet in 
into. Um, you don't really have to pull out the tongue. To me, I just feel like it's a lot easier. It's a lot more comfortable. But I haven't really worn these a lot. I think I only wore them once or twice. So this reminds me to wear them a little more often. This is something that it's meant to be beaten down. So we'll get to that. So last but not the least, this is my most recent purchase. It is... These Converse times JW Anderson in white. I know these came out a long time ago. I actually have the black ones, but when they first came out, I actually wanted to get all the colorways. I remember, I think they had it in black, white, red, and dark blue. And I wanted three of them. I wanted the black ones, red ones, and these white ones. But at that time, of course, I had limited funds and I can only choose to purchase one pair. So obviously I went for the black one because it's classic. And also because I already had white, well, off-white Converse which is the Comme des Garçons times Converse Play. Is it the right name? TDG Play Converse. Those ones, you know what I'm talking about. So I thought they're very similar. The color is similar. So I decided to get the black ones instead of these, but I also wanted these when they first came out. Now, I just found this from one of the outlets here in Macau. And the reason they were on sale, the outlet is because the pair isn't the same color any longer. So one of them is a lot more yellowish than it's supposed to be. I can't even tell the difference. Okay, if I do it here, this is more yellow than this one. That's why they were put on sale. I bought them for 300 and something. I mean, I can't even tell the difference. Can you even tell? I don't know if you can tell. So if I'm just gonna wear these as beaters, I think that in a few weeks time, this is gonna be the same color as this one, exactly the same shade. I'm just gonna have to wear this more often. <laughs> I know I'm gonna do that. Can I actually do that? No, but I think at some point they're gonna catch up to each other and have the exact same shade of yellow ish Maybe I can try washing this and see if it's gonna turn to its original state. If not, I'm just gonna get this as dirty as possible. But either way, I can't tell the difference, so I thought it's a steal. Granted, I did wait a couple of years before I could actually get my hands on them, but it's not something that I really like was actively looking for. I saw them and I thought I can still wear them. Converse will always be like a classic pair of sneakers. This is something that I won't really feel bad wearing every single day as beaters because I bought them for really cheap cheap so and of course they came in the original jw anderson box so pretty happy about that they also came with extra shoelaces so at least yesterday i haven't really had a chance to actually style them because i only bought them last week and i'll be wearing them more often moving forward all right anyway that is it for today's video guys i don't know if you learned anything <laughs> from this video that i shared anyway one main takeaway would be that if you can purchase sneakers even the hype ones for retail price or even a much lower price than that then aim for that i mean you can always go and check out like outlet stores like the clearance sales because you never know what you can find pierre and i always love to go to the outlets and like the clearance stores and check out what do they have because you'll be surprised what you can find there other than that i hope you like this video and if you liked it then make sure to give it a thumbs up let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you want me to do and don't forget to subscribe to the channel of course hit the notification bell as well so you're notified when i have a new video uploaded and i'll see you in the next one bye